It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to pick up our car because it has been charging overnight. I try to charge it to 100%. Here we go. Okay, so we were taking a quick stop at Kui Ilum uh, so that Ivy can use restroom and we're gonna do a quick top off so that we'll be more confident when we're heading over to our next stop, which is going to be Moses Lake. Okay, so we have arrived at Moses Lake uh, with about 18% because we actually stopped and charged. Now this is a 250 kilowatt supercharger version 3 and for our car we actually reached about 160. We're gonna be here for about 25 minutes to charge up all the way so that we'll be able to reach Spokane supercharger. Got some other cars here just one and uh, might just show you guys around. Okay, so we're now at Spokane. This is our 250 kilowatt supercharger. We're gonna, and we're right here with 22%, which is more than we expect. And we have been driving pretty fast. And to be honest, the version three charger cables are actually really thin. They are not like the thick cables that I've seen. Anyways, we're gonna go grab a bite and uh, see you later. Spokane Tesla supercharger. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think eight chargers all together. Very well equipped, Starbucks, Subway, McDonald's, it's pretty nice. This is Montana and Montana Interstate, speed limit is 80. Oh my god. Okay, so we're almost at Superior. We are at 8%. This is almost an evergreen on this car. Very, very low, but we're going to make it into the supercharger. Get out now. Turn right onto Pine Street. Every town has a Pine Street. Yeah, every town has a Pine Street. Has a Main, Main Street, Street, Walnut Street. Yeah. Right behind this small gas station, but nevertheless, here it was. Very, very low, which I'm aware. And Ivy just had the beauty sleep. No? We're 145 kilowatt now. That's still pretty fast. We have charged to 55% now and we are planning to leave fairly soon for Missoula. We're currently at Superior. I just wanted to mention that this is a very important supercharger to have because along, along I-90 from Spokane all the way over here it's very steep mountain roads uh, it's 80 miles per hour speed limit all of those work against electric vehicles so this is really good I think we just found our buddy I think that's one of the cars that we've seen all along the trip so I'm gonna go 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 say hi okay so we just left Superior heading for our next stop Missoula Montana we have just met someone who is also from the Seattle area. They're driving Model S and they are basically on the same route as us, going from Seattle, taking I-90 all the way, all the way into the Yellowstone. Awesome to, to be seeing people driving electric vehicles, taking road trips. Charging network overall gives us more security to travel long distance like this. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're about to arrive at the Solo Supercharger. Waiting for the green light here. This is a really, really long red light. Oh, green! I don't know how long, but finally. Another gas station. Another Konoko. Your destination is on the left. There you go. Alrighty. For this road trip. Awesome. Gonna plug in for 30 minutes. And we'll get going again. And here is the charging station. Looks pretty good. It's raining a little bit. Let's get back in. There's a stop up. We should get something to drink probably. We'll chill a little bit because we're supposed to stop here for 30 minutes. That's some time.
time that we can burn through. Yay! And see another Mall of Three Poland Lane. Oh, it's good to see another Mall of Three. Smoke, not, no good. Not good. Okay, so we have just finished charging at Masola and we charge for almost 30 minutes because it's only 123 miles, yet we are charged all the way to 85% to make sure that we get there. And I am suspecting the reason behind it is just a very high speed limit. It's 80 miles per hour over here. So we're expected to spend more energy for sure. 85% left right now. Uh, we're supposed to reach there with 9% remaining that means 76 percent of the energy for 123 miles see you guys later when we arrive at Butte so we've been on the road since 8 30 a.m or so and now it's actually 6 35 in our local time that means we have been on the road for about 10 hours i actually feel okay because Mostly the autopilot driving the car for me, really really helpful for highway, for road trips and things like that. Ivy actually has some particular feedback for uh, Tesla seats. For her, it's a little bit too hard and the bolsters for her physique, it's actually not the best fitting one that doesn't support her as well. So that's why she has all these pillows and cushioning. We are about an hour from the destination, which is the final stop for tonight. Okay, so we are almost there at Built. We are going to head to the hotel first. We're allowed to plug in here at a 110 outlet right here at the light post. So we'll be able to get some charge. That's really good. So that tomorrow we'll be able to charge at the uh, Built Tesla supercharger and be on our way. And I uh, just want to show everybody, since the trip from Mesola, where we charge all the way to 85%, we actually average 279 watt hour per mile all the way from there. Meaning that we have actually used a lot of energy in the process. Okay, so now it's 1040-ish here in Montana. Overall, the drive has been fairly easy. Uh, I was a little bit scared by the uh, high speed limits, but other than that, we're driving fine. Average about 75 miles per hour, which is actually under the speed limit here. Uh, the charging has been totally fine. There was no way that superchargers always get a charge. Everything's fine. Autopilot did this job, freaked out a little bit during the time when there were no lines, but other than that, it's great. And we are going to head to the supercharger next door, charge up all the way so that we can go to Yellowstone, West Yellowstone supercharger to charge again. And then we will enter Yellowstone from there. So gonna go take a shower, go to sleep and just, you know, start fresh tomorrow. And that's all for today. Good night.